Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're going to look at how your person is currently feeling about you. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So let's see what's going on here. We have out with the old, in with the new. Some of you may have recently gone through a transformation. We have don't take it personal. Either you or your person has gone through some kind of change or they see you as changing. We have incoming communication. So some kind of change that you've made may cause this person to reach out. We have reconciliation. Okay. So you'll be getting a call. Let me see what else we've got here. Unfinished business. Oh my gosh. We have friends. Break up and between the lines. Some of you may be seeing signs that this person is still interested, but you're not really. You may not. You may just be letting those signs go over your head. But <laughs> I'm seeing a huge sign that this person is actually actually has eyes on you. They could be asking their friends to to. To tell them what's going on with you <laughs> or to watch you so let me look at their feelings towards you how's this person currently feeling about Sagittarius someone who is quite hot and cold here they seem to have a fear of the connection you guys have so they could be the running type person who runs when things get too serious they see you as rebuilding yourself so like I said they could be seeing you as transforming it could be that you're transforming your body your life your career whatever it is they're seeing this so they could be watching you um, I do feel like they, I mean, their feelings towards you, the queen of pentacles, this person does still feel a connection. They still have feelings and they still feel, um, they still see you as their person. Okay. There's still a comfort there. There's a comfort there with, with them, with how they feel about you. But we have the five of pentacles they could be feeling kind of left out in the cold i feel like i feel like the more you do work on yourself and improve yourself and, and transform the more they feel left out like they're not a part of it um and they're kind of in their feelings at the moment with the queen of cups in reverse this could be this could be them being in denial as well. This is very odd. This person could be a fire sign. This is like the fire sign behavior. They could be a Leo. We have the Queen of Wands. But they could be Capricorn. Um, and there's Aquarius here. But I'm seeing that this person, their next move is the Five of Wands. So they may try to pick a fight with you, maybe to get attention, or they may do something. I feel like it's to get attention. So even if they act up, um don't take yeah you see <laughs> don't take it personal if they do act up if they do come at you like aggressive or trying to pick a fight i feel like this is especially if they have cancer in their chart because this, this is something cancers will do they would rather come at you like that just in case you reject them than to come at you and be honest with how they feel and be nice so they may try to come at you with like a side comment or sarcasm or just trying to pick a fight about it could be about something from the past but this person they don't know how to approach they they're going to try and approach the approach the safest way the safest way that they know at least 
So position of what you need to know is a fool. This person is seeing you as brand new. So this is the fool card in the love reading is like a person feeling like it's the first time they met you. Um, maybe um, maybe you're starting to look that way. Or the changes that you're making is reminding them of the person they met when they first met you. So their, their energy towards you is really positive. It's actually really nurturing and they actually see you in a good light. But they're going to act the opposite out of fear of getting reject, rejected. So they're not going to come and be straight up with you about how they feel. They do feel defeated. They have the Ten of Swords here. They do feel hurt by the ending or whatever happened between you guys. But they're going to front like they're pissed off about something when really they just want an excuse to talk to you. That's what I'm seeing. Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, they are in their feelings. And they are going to front... They're going to come at you with one thing and because they don't want you to know the truth. Because the, the truth shows that they have some kind of weakness for you. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Yep. Nine of Cups, but playing hard to get with the five, five with the four of Cups. So as you, as you can see, they have this Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles energy feelings towards you, which is nurturing, loving, caring, stable, yet Four of Cups, unless this is their fear, this is them, them thinking that you're going to reject their offer of love. Why the Two of Cups? This person does have a fear that you've moved on to a new connection. And that they're no longer an option. They're no longer on your mind. They feel like they fear that you've moved on. That you're in a new connection. If you are, this could be what they come at you with. Like they may come at you upset about that. Maybe they feel like you moved on too soon. Why the five of wands? Yeah, you see. The communication, this page of wands, this is the message, but it's aggressive, it's conflicting because I feel like that's just how they want to come at you, just so, just so they don't look like they're trying to run back to you. They want it to look like they're upset about something. They don't want it to look like they miss you. So if you, if you see that behavior, again, don't take it personal and just remember what I told you. Remember here we have read between the lines, so when they come at you like that, you know what's really up. You know what's really up. You know that little crying child behind the, that anger. Okay, they're going to come at you backwards. Why the Knight of Swords? Why is the Knight of Swords blocking? So they may feel like they're getting their karma. They may have done you wrong in the past and feel like, okay, this is my karma, but... And if they had a third party in the past as well, they feel like this is their karma, but I do feel like they've let that person go. It is in reverse if there was a third party. Why the fool? Yeah, they they want to take the lead, but there's also a fear of rejection. There's pride and there's ego with that King of Wands. So that's why they're coming at you backwards, especially if they got Leo in their chart. Why the star card is the outcome? Some of you might might actually, if you're single, I feel like you may actually give them a chance. You got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands, but be careful that this isn't two people that they're dealing with.
Yeah. This is either either this, the third party is still there. I feel like that's mostly if they have kids with that person, if it's someone from the past. But for some of you, if you have moved on, this, these could be your two people. We have the devil here. So there is someone who can't let go of a situation. What you don't see coming. Some of you, some of you maybe you're moving on from something and you look into the future. You have plans for the future and this could be with or without this person, but you've learned a lesson here. And this lesson could either drive you away from this person and have you planning for your own future or forgiving them and moving forward with them. There's something that you're needing to see. Why the two of wands? Some of you are going to have, a, if you do plan to continue with them, there's going to be a lot of conflict at first, you know, working through the issues, but then there'll be a release of the past and the baggage. Why judgment? A lot of you are breaking a pattern here. You may have attracted um, the wrong types of people in the past. I see you freeing yourself from a pattern after learning this, this lesson here. Maybe you're learning not to give too much of your energy. Why the love messages for Sagittarius? We have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So some of you, like I said, you may find yourself dating someone else when this person comes along and they are not happy about that. But some of you may be working it out with them. They showed red flags, they did you wrong in the past, they know that they're dealing with their karma right now, but Sagittarius, I see you either working it out with them or without them. Let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? Synchronicity, romance, dream come true and detachment, you're letting somebody go here, but your dream's coming true. Which means some of you may be choosing between two, still getting your romance and your love and your dream come true, but having to attach, detach from one person. Maybe that person was a karmic, maybe they're the lesson and you've learned the lesson. But you're definitely breaking a pattern here and this person is definitely coming at you backwards. So keep that in mind. All right, so. Sagittarius, this is what I'm seeing for you. Hope this was helpful. There's Capricorn energy here. Capricorn, Cancer, Leo. Who else? More Capricorn. There's Aquarius, there's Taurus. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.